what kind of catches your eye? Yeah, they're definitely a physical defense. Their corners, you know, like to press you, play man, and um, they do a great job of creating turnovers. So ball security is going to be a must this week. You got, um, you know, I think they're the corner was the Pac-12 player of the week. The guy's six three corner. I mean, what's the challenge in that? You know, probably don't see very many of them. Yeah, he's definitely a lengthy corner, and uh, he likes to, you know, like I said before, press you, get his hands on you. So it's going to be, you know, pretty key that we have good releases against him. With the D coordinator, obviously being from Utah State from last year, uh, it sounds like some of the coaches are going back and watching that film and trying to see what he does. Have you gone back and looked at that game at all? And what can you take? Obviously, you guys didn't play very well offensively in that game. Yeah, we didn't play very well in that game offensively. Um, we watched a lot of Oregon State and Utah State from last year. Um, you know, we just missed a lot of shots. You know, like I said before, they played the same way where press man, they contested a lot of our passes, so that's a, a big thing this week. I mean, do you expect, like, scheme-wise and stuff, a lot of similarities from what Utah State did in that game to what you'll see with, with the Oregon State now with the same coordinator? Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of the same schemes, and um, that's kind of, you know, how we're going about it right now is, is what they've shown us this year and last year against State. Is that common to look at a team, you know, last year's film with Utah State and Oregon State, or do you guys usually just focus on the team that you're going to be playing and just look at that video per se? Uh, I would say it's pretty common, you know, especially new D coordinator, what what team he was on last year. I think that's pretty common to go back and look at that film, especially if your team played him last year. Have you found it takes a little more effort now these days to get open? I mean, the defenses are we really focusing on you. Do you have to amp it up a little bit, or is it has it been kind of similar to maybe last season? Uh, I'd say it's pretty similar. Um, I think, you know, our offensive coaches do a great job in scheming it up to the point where they know the defensive defense's weaknesses and um, kind of the soft areas in their zones, and, and that's kind of what we attack. How much of an impact has, has Cedric Wilson had on, on what you're doing and just the offense as a whole? He's had a huge impact. Um, you know, he's a guy that makes plays. If there's ever a 50-50 ball, he's going to go up and come down with it. So that's huge for offense, and, you know, he's just another threat to add to us. Does that help you get open at all when, when you know, they have to keep an eye on him too? Definitely. I mean, yeah, the more threats we have on offense, you know, the easier it is for guys to get involved and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, he came in the spring and had a good spring and summer, and, you know, none of us are really surprised that he's doing so well right now. I know Oregon State, obviously, last year didn't have a great year, but in fact, they're Pac-12 and stuff. I mean, is that a big deal to you getting, whenever you get a chance to play against a Pac-12 team? Yeah, I think it's a big deal, um, especially back to back Pac-12 opponents. I think it's, it's pretty good, and um, especially at a conference like this, having a strong schedule, I think it's kind of our time to make a point of, on how good of a team we are. We've heard a lot, like Ben Weaver was saying, respect and stuff. I mean, what is it about getting a chance to play the Power Five teams that kind of fires you guys up? Um, I would say that um, sometimes we're, we're considered kind of an underdog because we're not Power Five school, and uh, it kind of gives us an edge, I think, you know, that they might not respect us or, or underestimate us, and I think that's kind of a big part of. Uh, you know, come out and play in those big schools. Not sure if it's possible, but have you seen Jeremy's physicality running the football? Uh, I guess gain a difference compared to last season. Yeah, definitely. Jeremy's doing a great job of finishing his runs, uh, falling forward. You know, attacking the defender, and um, yeah, a lot of that that is with our own line too. They're doing a great job for him, and, and he's doing a good job of getting those extra yards we need. How is you know, um, I wanted to ask, you, how has it kind of worked, you know, with, you know, you got conference coordinators now with Hill and Huff and Harris calling plays. How has that worked for you guys? Was it, a, was there a transition there? Was it fairly smooth? I and mean, how has that whole process gone for you guys? I would say it's really smooth. And, you know, having three guys back there that all are qualified and know what they're doing, I think, you know, we, we've come up with a lot of creative plays and, you know, there's, there's just the more minds on it, the better, the better it is. Do you think it's better? Because for some people, maybe that, that that could be an issue. But do you think it's that's been a good thing here? Yeah, it's definitely not an issue with our team. I think uh, they do a great job of, of you know, dissecting the defense and, and kind of laying out what's going to work against them. Since uh, the last time BSU played Oregon State, you guys actually have more Pac-12 wins than they do. Are you expecting a pretty hungry Oregon State team, maybe trying to prove something? Definitely, uh, definitely a hungry Oregon State team. You know, they just came off a uh, win against Idaho State, so uh, you know they're going to be hungry, and, and you know uh, I think we've done a good job this bye week preparing for them. Have you kept in touch much with Hedrick? And I know obviously he, he said he's going to be at the game, and uh, you know obviously what he's doing. Uh, do you, you guys talk much, and what do, what do you think about about his career path now? Uh, we talk every once in a while. Um, I think he's on the career path of a policeman right now, yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully, I see him after the game. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank Tom. You.